I'm following them. Because I can't see shit. Haven't you a lantern arisen? I got one. I thought for sure I was going to get taken away by all that water. Oh, oh, what is that, gold? No. Ah, here's the cart now. Do you intend to join us? I guess I'll accompany them, right? Very well. Board the ox cart and we'll be off. The ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. Shall we see if there's ought to be found while we're... That ladder looks promising. But we'll have to drop it down from above. Shit, I'm heavy again. Why do they make these friggin' camping kits so damn heavy? Where is it? And also, what happens if one of my pawns have stuff on them? And I dismiss them. This is heavy for everybody. Oh. How do I get my people to board? An ox cart ought to make our journey easier. Oh, sit. I wouldn't mind a chance to doze off as the hills roll by. Are they getting on? This is horrible. <laughs> this this is what we're doing. Is this the sky is radiant this night. I feel at peace to gaze upon it. I quite agree. I mean, it's nice that they do the little cinematics. Wait, doze off. Goblins! That's not good. Of rotten luck! We've need of your aid again, sir. Okay. How do I get up? Get your ass up. Alright, come on, Carl. Look, master! Goblins! We have no means of exploiting our enemy's weakness! Seems we drove them off. You've my thanks for aiding us. Vernworth isn't far from here. Will you join us the rest of the way? He keeps telling me. All right. Into the ox cart, then. So, you sure you want to join us? Sure you want to come? He's making me not so sure I want to do this with them. <gasps> the following morning! I was informed of your coming would be arisen. Captain Brandt, this individual summoned a pawn through a rift stone. Several witnesses can attest to it. Though I admit I had my doubts at first. It would seem this is no mere deceiver. This one's not a bad sort. Saved our hides on the way here. As decreed by the great will of our world, there can only be one arisen. That arisen now resides within the palace. Indeed, he is our sovereign and the rightful ruler of Vermont. It follows, therefore, that this ruffian before us is naught but a pretender. You must submit to questioning. If you value your life, you will not attempt to flee. 
I shall conduct the interrogation myself. Stand watch outside. I beg your forgiveness for my insolence, Your Majesty. Wow! If the Queen Regent had learned of your existence, I fear your life would have been in peril. I had no choice but to treat you as a pretender, lest my actions draw suspicion from watchful eyes. I don't understand. Then you have truly lost your memory? In that case, mayhap I ought to explain the situation before we proceed. You, and no other, are the sovereign. The only legitimate ruler of this kingdom. Some days passed. You confronted the dragon in the village of Melv, whereupon you became arisen. The people rejoiced, for our true liege had finally appeared, and in Vermont's long years of council rule, yet not all celebrated your coming. Your arrival would have robbed the Queen Regent Deesa of everything. During the time of the previous council, she acted as a queen in her own right, ruling the palace as she saw fit. And just after the consul's passing, when t'was all but certain that her son would take his father's place. Word reached the castle that the Arisen had been found. To Deesa, your majesty's very existence is naught but an obstacle to her own family's continued prosperity. The assassination of the Arisen is an impossible feat for mortal hands. Thus, Deesa chose to abduct your majesty while you recovered from your wounds, in order to rob you of your memory with a fell curse and sell you to Batal as a slave. Wow. Following that, she prepared a replacement to serve as the sovereign in your stead, a mere puppet. However, with your majesty returned, I have no intention of twiddling my thumbs as Deesa plays her games. I shall devise some plans to further our cause. Pray, visit me a night in the tavern that we might discuss them. This one's cleared of all suspicion and has my permission to remain in the capital. You are to trouble the good sir no further. Are we clear? <laughs> Whoa, 6,000 G's? Hell yeah! What is this? What is this contract? Wait. Okay. <clears throat> oh, wait, hey! Hey, hail! Have my fullest confidence. So, do I have to wait at night? Oh. Pray forgive me, I'm in a bit of a hurry. He just robbed me. Consarn it! Get back here! You there! Did you see an urchin in a cap run past just now? Can you tell me which way he went? <laughs> How does he not see him? Oh, I guess I'll lie. Many thanks. I'll catch that wretch yet. You're a kind one, aren't you? It would seem I am in your debt. In fact, there's aught I would ask of you if you've the time to spare. Aha! There you are! Oh, apologies, but our chat will have to wait. Till next we meet. Farewell. I can't believe I just did something for that man and he's like, you know what? I have something else you can do. Like, what are you gonna do for me, pal? Ooh, copper ore. Oh, I need to go to... Pray, allow me to open your chest. You can open yon chest. You already did, it seems. I need to go to an inn? This is a very big place. Oh, sorry. Must remember to sew it all when there's nothing doing. 
This really How is might I be of service? Now, there's a worthy prize. <laughs> if only it weren't so far away. Hail. I've all manner of arms for sale. Come, have yourself a look. Let me sell some stuff. Um, how do I... Ted has these bows I'd like to sell. Whoa, 270 gold for them? Damn. Enhance equipment. Is there like a junk tab? Materials, valuables. Uh, no. Okay. Ooh, this is worth a lot. I'm gonna sell this because I know I'm gonna forget about it and it's gonna go bad. Oh no! Those went bad. Oh, bye. What do you have for sale, sir? Holy shit. Holy shit, I got a lot of money. Now... I have to buy stuff for Ted. I want this one. But should I buy stuff? Oh shit, I can buy arrows! Explosive arrows! I have a lot of money. I could do this. Just don't know if I should. What is the times nine? Is that as, mo as many as he has? I don't know. I don't know about buying stuff just quite yet. I need new clothes. I think first things first, I should buy clothes before a weapon. Sorry, but you were in my way. Welcome to Bjorn's Armory. You'll find that quality is what you need if you want to survive. So before you check the price, just remember, Misers die early deaths. Now... Oh, it shows you the class. Okay. Alright, let's start with helmet. So I have two options. I don't like the look of either one. <laughs> okay. So this one is the best by far. Oh, that's like all my money though. Ted's got some good stuff. Oh, well, you know what? I'm not going to do it. Many thanks. I appreciate the visit. I'm going to go no through the city made today, I see. I just hope the shopkeeper understands. The Arisen is ever prudent in the application of coin. As soon as we finish with the main thing here, and then we have to go out on our adventure, then I will spend my money. But until then, I'm not doing it until I know for sure I'm not getting any money here. Also, I would like to get rid of, uh... Huh? I want to get rid of my, uh, uh, 
the scout. Because he's not very good anymore. He's what, level, like, four? Claw? Jamar is level, or Jamar is level 8. Claw is level 8. We'll get Claw. I have a knack for gathering items and am ever on the hunt for new finds. I'll gladly try out any. Replace him. Useful me. He's not brawn and might that win the day, but deft fingers and I a I hope I can step. count on you in a... Alright, now we're upgraded. Oh, leave the rift. Perfect. This looks as good a place as any. Save. I haven't done that in a minute. Oh, it keeps. I think that something's gonna happen, but nothing does. A treasure chest. I can hardly wait to open it. <laughs> Let us hope your curiosity will be rewarded. Oh. Welcome to the Star Drop Inn. We serve all manner of fine ales here. Shall I pour you a cup to start you off? Here are my quests. A night. So I have to wait till night. Welcome to the We serve all manner of fine ales here. Shall That's I the pour time. you a Always a pleasure. Your Majesty, your time in is impeccable. I just thought to call for you. Tis not a matter for prying ears. Pray, let us speak out here. Out where? Here? Oh shit. As I informed you when last we spoke, the palace is filled with the Queen Regent's sycophants. Should Deesa denounce your majesty as a false arisen, few would elect to doubt her. Yet if we are to prove your identity, I believe there is no occasion more suitable than the coronation. It was delayed so that the sovereign, that is, the false arisen, could convalesce in the palace, but the date has now been set. The central players in the court ought all be in attendance. It would be a fine opportunity to display your majesty's power. None would be able to deny that you are the true arisen then. There is a problem, however. Entry to such an event is limited to the chosen few. Only select members of the nobility and citizens who have contributed greatly to Vermont's continued prosperity will be granted entry. If your majesty is to be counted among them, you will need to attend to a number of tasks. Pray. Allow me to summarize them for you. Oh boy. Tell me of monster culling. The citizenry have called upon my soldiers to cull monsters that plague the land. I dare say, it would be a fine contribution were you to accomplish these tasks unaided. What say you? Might I ask for your cooperation in this matter? Yeah. I thank you, your majesty. There are three locales that I've seen significant trouble of late. The first is Trevo Mine, to the northwest. We've had reports of goblins swarming in great numbers. Next is Half Village, west of Burnworth. I believe soldiers have already been dispatched to call an infestation of Saurians there. Finally, there is a call for someone to locate a group of soldiers tasked with delivering freight. They were last seen crossing the second bridge on the eastern edge of Vermin. We have been charged with the felling of monsters. 
By combining our strengths, we shall overcome this trial as all others. All right. Trebo mine is but a stone's throw from here. What the hell? Then follow me. I'll lead the way. Let me out of this place. Wait, there's a chest here? We already took this chest. All right, one second. I need to buy this stuff after all. Welcome to pure and quality is what you need if you want to survive. I need to buy some stuff from you, sir. First things first. Nope. I need... Oh, cloaks? So they're just for looks? No, you get a little something. It's a very slow turn, huh? Alright, we need shoes. Shoes and pants. Give me these. Yes. So before you check the price, just remember. Now I need... Can't afford this anymore. I could just stop here with what I got and buy better weapons. I think Mizer's that's what I'm going to do. Can I upgrade my pants? Wait, how do I upgrade them? Just money? Alright. Oh, so the first upgrade's just money. Okay. Hope to see you again. Our packs are heavier and our purses far lighter. But <laughs> that is true. Wait, I have an item. I have that beetle thing. Use. I need to prepare for after all. We can't afford to cut corners. Hail. I've all manner of arms for sale. I need to buy. I think I'll buy something for Ted. I want this bow and I can't afford that. I want him to be like my tank. Come, have yourself a look. Uh, menu. Fenworth, where is the inn? Fenworth Pawn Guild. <gasps> vocation Guild, right here. Let me check out the vocations. Have you a different destination in mind, Master? Very well. I shall follow ah. your lead instead. The arisen decides our path. We have but to follow. Oh, 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 right here, right here. Greetings. Here we conduct all manner of procedures pertaining to vocations. If there I is all like... I may assist you with, simply what say the word. This? Seeker's to token. View rewards. 240. Oh, shit. Whoa. Oh, now what is warrior? Warriors use their great swords to effortlessly cleave through massive foes. Overwhelming enemy. I want this for him. How do I get this? Forgive me, but I'm afraid we are not accepting registration for warriors or sorcerers at this time. You see, as we currently have no archer staves or great swords on hand, we are unable to outfit new members. And we cannot simply purchase more, as the delivery of arms intended for the local armory and other guilds in this domain was plundered by goblins. So regrettably, I cannot assist you. Unless you were to procure a weapon yourself, that is. Let me see. What else can I tell you of our guild? Oh. Certain vocations are unavailable. Let me see. What else can I tell you of our guild? Right. Methinks Roderick will be able to tell you aught of the stolen shipment. He runs the local armory, and we purchase almost all of our stock from him. 
May fortune smile upon you, sir. We'll not find anything if we don't start looking. I want this chance. <laughs> He's got nothing to say. I just took out something on his counter to steal the chest behind him, and he had no comment. All right, we gotta go talk to Roderick. I think I just did a whole friggin' circle. Roderick? Am I dashing? Yeah, I guess I am. A treasure chest. Well met, sir. Forgive my presumption, but were you the one who gave my granddaughter that medicine in Melv? Oh, yeah. I thought so. <laughs> She's not stopped talking of her adventure since she arrived home. You have my sincerest thanks for aiding her. That girl's always running off on some fool's errand or other. For all my chiding. Once she gets an idea under her bonnet, there's simply no talking her out of it. Now listen, tisn't much, but I'd fain offer you a discount on my wares. Pray, make good use of it, won't you? Well, what are you selling, buddy? Welcome now and I'm well listening. met. Don't think I've forgotten your discount now. I'll knock a few gold pieces off for what you buy. Now, hold up. Why was she in the other town buying this when he had it? He could have just bought it. Or she could have just bought it from him. He could have just given it to her. Oh. I just... This so guy. spend away, my good sir. Nope. Do come again. What does she have to say for herself? I've brought you a gift. Will you accept it? Why is she being so weird about it? Specializations. Okay. Thanks. This really is fine. Cops are cheered. Odd, odd, odd. See, now why is the exclamation point over here? Need anything? Now seems a fine time to sort through your belongings, Master. What's that Lessening mean? our load will help to keep us light on our feet. Is it- it's this guy, right? Is this Roderick? Welcome to Bjorn's nope. Armory. You'll find only peace and quality is what you need if you want to survive. So before you check the price, just remember. Many thanks. I appreciate the business. Thanks, Bjorn, but you're not who I wanted. Roderick? Oi, friend. Klaus sent word that you've agreed to rescue some of my pilfered equipment. I'd be grateful for aught you can reclaim, truly. Fair warning. Goblins are behind these ox cart raids, I've since learned. No doubt they're hoarding the stolen arms in their den. From the tell of it. Their lair lies somewhere along the western road. Pray do be careful. It, if all were to go awry, it would weigh heavily on my heart. Losing my wares for good would make me sore. But no sack of gold could compare to a fellow life, eh? Wow. Oh no! Okay, set as priority quest. Did I do that? Oh my gosh. I don't think I did it. Uh... Set. Go to map. Where is this? Right there. Alright, gang. We're heading out. And that is it for Dragon's Dogma 2 Part 4. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.